All right. Hi, everybody. It's me, Mrs. Salazar, along with some of the best people in the world, my period two class, Jaime, Lizette, Curly, and I would just like everyone to introduce themselves. <laughs> Highest math taken, and uh, what's your occupation, or what are you going to do? Curly. Uh, the highest math I took was AP Stats. I go to Cal State Fullerton and I'm a degree major. The highest math level I've taken is Calculus 1. I go to Cal State Fullerton and I am an Education major. I took Calculus 2 as my highest level in university. I was a Psych major and now I'm a teacher, Algebra 1. Woo! At Godinas. I am a math major, and the highest math I've taken is Cal 3 at OCC, and I'm planning to be a math teacher. I'm at so linear algebra isn't... Completed, you said completed. My bad, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the rules are, we have wonderful students putting up problems, the tutors and myself and the class are in a competition. We're fighting for three points. Whoever gets the three points first wins. If the class wins, they get extra credit. If the tutors win, I am taking them out for whatever meal they want. I already won yesterday. Okay, technically you didn't win yesterday. Do I, I count? Yesterday. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. And just so you know, when I take you out, I might just be bringing it in. Okay? Okay, fine. Only one of you. You're all not getting a free meal off of me. What about me? <laughs> Angie, okay, Angie's automatic, okay, fine. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so it's a diamond problem. We're multiplying for the top, adding for the bottom. You wanna see my answer? I saw that. No. Wait, oh. Oh, we're already doing it. Oh, I totally got that wrong. Yeah, you had it right. Oh, yeah. We saw that we saw this one the answer. Two eggs, two halves. Yeah, we can show you. Just give Stephanie a look. Alright, so Stephanie, who won? I didn't finish it. Shut up. Yeah. Got it. Oh, on the camera, it looks like you put 25. 25? Yeah. It looks like you put 25. It's five halves, I'm just like, what? Give it to the class. Okay. Yeah, Stephanie, you got it. Okay, solving for X. Maybe we could get someone from the audience uh, to read out the problem. 3x squared minus 3x equals. I'm not dumb. <laughs> They're from your warm ups from two weeks ago. And uh, uh, the, I, the, Stephanie's choosing them right now. So she has a total of 10 or 12 questions she's picking from. What I like about that question is you guys, you saw the same term on both sides 3x squared, 3x squared. Those cancel out right away. That makes it much easier. You just see 3x equals 6. Is it factor solve for x? solution it was not factorable and you couldn't use the uh, quadratic formula because the discriminant was negative 
underneath that square root, we got a negative number. It would have been the square root of negative 40. Can't do that in algebra one. All right, we're solving for x again. Six parentheses, x minus three plus two x equals four parentheses, two x plus one minus 22. Are you serious?